हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर टुडे टॉपिक इज लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट इंडिपेंडेंट वेक्टर्स फर्स्ट आई विल गिव यू डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट वेक्टर्स ए सबसेट ए ऑफ ए वेक्टर स्पेस भी इज सेड टू बी लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट it is said to be linearly dependent if there exist a finite number of vectors v1 v2 up to vk in s and the scalars alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha k not all zero such that not all zero such that alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 Plus alpha k v k equals to zero. This is called linear combination of k vectors. Here this expression is zero. Implies alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, up to alpha k not all zero. Then the subset A of vectors v one, v two, v k is linearly dependent. Is linearly dependent. Again, linearly independent vectors definition. A subset S of A vector space B. is said to be linearly independent if there exist a finite number of distinct vectors v1 v2 up to vk in s and Colors alpha one, alpha two, up to alpha k, all zero. Such that alpha one v one, alpha two v two, plus the dot, up to alpha k v k is equal to 0 a subset a of a vector space v is said to be linearly independent if there exist a finite number of distinct vectors v1 v2 v k in s and scalars alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha k all zero all zero of that alpha 1 v1 Plus alpha to v to plus the dot alpha k v k is equal to zero. Now let us solve problems by which the definitions will be more clear to you. Now question number one. Now the problem is prove that the set of three vectors v one equals to one zero zero, v two equals to zero one zero, v three equals to zero zero one. Is linearly independent solution given v1 is equal to 100, v2 is equal to 010, and v3 is equal to 001. Corresponding 
टू डीएच वेक्टर्स लेट अल्फा वन अल्फा टू अल्फा थ्री बी द स्कलर्स सच दैट गिवन भी वन इक्वल्स टू वन जीरो जीरो भी टू जीरो वन जीरो भी थ्री जीरो 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 वन कॉरेस्पोंडिंग टू डीज वेक्टर्स लेट अल्फा वन अल्फा टू अल्फा थ्री B the scalars such that alpha one v one plus alpha two v two plus alpha three v three is equal to zero. This implies alpha one one zero zero plus alpha two zero one zero plus alpha three. Zero zero one equals to zero. Putting the values of v one, v two, v three. Now let us multiply alpha one to first vector, alpha two second vector, and alpha three to the third vector. So it will be alpha one zero 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 alpha two zero plus zero zero. Alpha three is equal to zero. Now adding we get alpha one plus zero plus zero zero plus alpha two plus zero zero plus zero plus alpha three is equal to zero. This implies alpha one, alpha two, alpha three is equal to zero. Implies alpha one is equal to zero, alpha two is equal to zero, alpha three is equal to zero. So all the scalars are equal to zero. It means the given set of vectors are linearly independent. Since All the scalars are zero. Are equals to zero. So the given vectors are linearly. Independent. Proved. So here the question is: B one is equal to one zero zero, B two is equal to zero one zero, B three is equal to zero zero one. And we have to prove that the vectors are linearly independent, corresponding to these three vectors B one, B two, B three. We have taken alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, three scalars. So that the linear combination alpha one b one plus alpha two b two plus alpha three b three is equal to zero. Now putting the values of b one b two b three, then after simplifying we are getting alpha one is equal to zero, alpha two is equal to zero, alpha three is equal to zero. Since all these scalars are equal to zero, so the given vectors are linearly independent. This our first problem is solved. Let us proceed to solve the next problem. Our second question is prove that the vectors one one minus one two minus three five zero one four of R Q R are linearly independent. Let b one is equal to one one minus one. B two is equal to two minus three five, and B three is equal to zero one four. 
corresponding to these vectors let alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 be the scalars such that alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus alpha 3 v3 is equal to 0. Now this implies alpha 1 vector v1 is 1 1 minus 1. Alpha 2 vector v2 is 2 minus 3 5. Alpha 3, this is 0, 1, 4 is equal to 0. This implies alpha 1, alpha 1 minus alpha 1. 2, alpha 2 minus 3, alpha 2, 5, alpha 2, plus 0, alpha 3, 4, alpha 3 is equal to 0. This implies alpha 1 plus 2 alpha 2 plus 0. Alpha 1 minus 3 alpha 2 plus alpha 3. Minus alpha 1 plus 5 alpha 2 plus 4 alpha 3 is equal to Zero. So this implies alpha one plus two alpha two is equal to zero. This is our equation one. Alpha one minus three alpha two plus alpha three is equal to zero. Equation two minus alpha 1 plus 5 alpha 2 plus 4 alpha 3 is equal to 0. This is equation 3. Solving equations 2 and 3 we get alpha 1 by alpha 2 by alpha 3 by so this is minus 12 minus 5 4 plus 1 this one is 5 minus 3 so this implies alpha 1 by minus 17. This is minus alpha 2. Is equal to minus alpha 2 by 5. Is equal to alpha 3 by 2. Implies alpha 1 by 17. Is equal to alpha 2 by 5. Is equal to alpha 3 by minus 2 is equal to k c this implies alpha 1 is equal to 17 k alpha 2 is equal to 5 k alpha 3 is equal to minus 2 k this is equation 4 putting these values in equation 1 we get 17 k plus 10 k is equal to 0 implied 27 k is equal to 0 implied k is equal to 0 now putting k is equal to 0 in equation 4 we get putting 
k is equal to 0 in equation 4 we get alpha 1 is equal to 0 alpha 2 is equal to 0 alpha 3 is equal to 0 implies the given vectors Linearly independent. So here the question is we have to prove that the vectors 1, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 3, 5, 0, 1, 4 of R Q of R are linearly independent. So we have taken the three vectors as V1, V2, V3. Corresponding scalars alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. Such that alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus alpha 3 v3 is equal to 0. Now putting the values of a v1, v2, v3. After simplification, we get equations 1, 2, 3. Now solving equations 2 and 3, we get alpha 1 is equal to 17 k. Alpha 2 is equal to 5k, alpha 3 is equal to minus 2k. Now putting this values in equation 1, we get k is equal to 0. Now putting k is equal to 0 in equation 4, we get alpha 1 0, alpha 2 0, alpha 3 0. Means all the scalars are 0. Therefore the given vectors are linearly independent. With this, the topic for today's class is completed. I shall meet you with a new topic in my next class. Till then, goodbye.